Good morning, John. I am still surrounded by confetti. I have not cleaned. I have got all the food up, I think. But I'm still absolutely surrounded by trash. Like this says, eat a baked bean ice cream sundae, which I did and was good. It's the future. The Project for Awesome was lovely. It was the largest Project for Awesome of all time. We raised in total over $3.5 million. But my brain is so full and I'm so busy that there was no way I was gonna do a regular video today. I have so many good ideas for videos, by the way, right now, but they're all complicated. So I wanted to do something simple. So I've just edited one of my favorite pieces of the Project for Awesome into a video. So to stop me from continuing to ramble, Here's me and Tyler Thrasher. Are you ready for some would you rathers? Yeah, yeah. Would you rather be the juiciest Hank in the world? Ooh. Or the driest Hank in the world? Oh, I'd rather be juicy. Okay. Like average Hank, even average any human, is far juicier than they are dry. Like, I don't have that far to go to get to max juicy. <laughs> Whereas I've got a long way to go to get to max dry. All right, juiciest Hank in the world it is. Would you rather have gummy teeth or noodle fingers. I that's that's tough. Those are both awful. Are my gummy teeth sweet? Yeah, if I think if you lick them for like ten minutes straight, you kind of get like a sweet little. I mean, <laughs> it, could, it could be a little something something. I'd rather have no teeth than no fingers. I'd rather have gummy teeth than noodle fingers. I'd ra like fingers are more important than teeth. Uh, to m to me, I'd rather miss out on all solid food than all liquid food. I mean, you're which just is, still going with the juicy theme. Yeah, Juicy Hank is <laughs> going Hank. to move you. You are shrunk to the size of an ant. Mm -hmm. What are you doing to let Catherine know of your current predicament? Oh, wow. So you no, I don't. Th I mean, I'll be honest with you, Tyler. I don't think I'd make it out alive. <laughs> Step one, eat. Fill up my little ant belly, which would, in this room, not be hard. I spilled a bunch of nerds on the ground yesterday, and then I rolled my chair over them. Like, they are perfect ant food. Step two, hide. Because Catherine's going to come in here, and she's going to be like, where the hell is Hank? And if she sees an ant, she will kill it. Uh, then I start to move on the black carpet. I start to move things, because I'm an ant, and I can carry things that are quite heavy. And spell out, I'm an ant. <laughs> Dash H. Uh, because once they see I'm an ant, they, uh, they can see the smaller message that I'm also leaving with the crumbs around my office that say, Catherine, it's Hank. I've been turned into an ant by evil wizard Tyler Thrasher, and I need you to go to Oklahoma and, and get him and bring him here to restore me to my normal, natural, healthy human self full of juice. You're allowed to take one item back to 15th century Europe. This item should inspire the masses without you being tried as a witch. What is this item? Ooh. Like, you wouldn't want to jump too far forward. Like, you want it to be a, a piece of technology somebody could look at and understand. So, like, a microscope, but like a old, like a, like one that looks like it was made, by, like it could have been made by a human hand rather than a bunch of machine parts. Like a nicer, but still old te telescope or a watch. Like something mechanical that people could understand. And then also I could try and figure out how it works. Cause honestly, I don't know. Baja Blast for <laughs> sure. Says Lamb Dog. I think <laughs> probably, probably Baja Blast would, would inspire some followers. Would you rather give birth to a live fluttering moth or a slimy snail? The size is dependent on the hole. Hank, you pick the hole. My first thought was that the that it comes out the butt. Um, <laughs> the butt is the part of my body that's most used to having stuff come out of it. You know, my first thought was a live fluttering moth because that's smaller, but the slime is is a plus in this situation. It's juicy. It's juicy. It's, it's, it's a lubricant. Uh, I think I think snail butt, and you get to keep it as a pet too. That's the plus. Oh, that is great. I think I'd probably prefer to have a snail. Big old snail. Okay. All right, butt snail it is. A lot of mouth moths in chat, and I understand you. Would you rather experience, now you don't actually die, you just experience death in space, but you get your favorite song, or death in a volcano, but you get your favorite snack. Song space. Both because I think space death would be less painful, and probably faster, weirdly enough. You float on lava, which is not a good vibe. You gotta remember, this is liquid rocks, and they have the, densi yeah. the density of rocks, so you're just like on there like a hamburger on the grill uh, <laughs> eating <laughs> eating cool ranch Doritos. i'd rather have all the air sucked out of my lungs and not be able to breathe back in and that does also sound very bad but bad in a different way music also though i i'd prefer music to to snack in a death scenario um okay i, I just i think music is so good i don't know how you would listen to the music your earbuds would pop right out is what would happen any air trapped in your inner yeah. ear would expand and pop the earbuds out, but. Well, that's all I have. People want to see your hat. 
my hat. Oh, I got the coolest hat in town. Check this out. I had this hat made by um, an artist. Um, they go by the Felt Forge on Instagram, and okay. I commissioned this really cool wizard crystal wizard nice. hat. It's yeah. very good. Yeah, it's my crystal favorite thing in the world. Hat. It's very. It's perfect for a live stream. Very. Thank perfect. you. Hank. Thank you. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye, Tyler. Wow, what a great conversation with Hank Green and Tyler Thrasher. I'm Jared, and I would have answered some of those questions differently. For example, I would desperately like to be dry. John, I'll see you on Tuesday. That thing is not fun to take off. Where are my glasses? People of Denver and Colorado Springs and Boulder, Colorado. I'm going to be at Comedy Works South on March 18th doing my show if you want to come see it.